One of the most difficult things to figure out is these Le Chatelier shifts. And the reason that they're hard is because we don't really understand exactly what the meaning of the words are. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little practice session. Would you get out a separate sheet of paper now? And let's try doing different things. Okay? Now, we're going to try different different ways of doing this. So, what we're going to do first of all, the stress goes in this column, so let's raise anything. Let's raise the water. That is my stress. Are you with me? Okay. Down here, we want to do what? Lower the water. Okay. Now, we have to look up here and say, which side is the water on? Okay. Ah, uh, think of two terms. Use it or make it. Uh, let's put this up here. Use it or make it. I'm going to ask you that question. Are we going to use water or are we going to make water? We're going to use it up. Yeah, we're going to use it. Okay, because we want it to go down. When we use it, it goes down, right? Take water out of the tap. The reservoir goes down, right? Okay. So this is what we want to do in this problem. So if we want to use it, we go to the opposite side. If we want to make it, we go to the same side. Yes. Okay, so over here, why don't we just say opposite? go to the opposite side. If we go to the opposite side, we're going to make H2 and CO2. Right? Okay, so going to the opposite side is shifting what? Left or right? Left. If we, if we want to use H2O, it's going down. Yeah, and that's what the shot wants to do. He wants to use up the H2O. He wants to get rid of it. Okay? And the only way he can do that is to combine it with H2O and CO. Yes? No. No. Okay. And so are, are we okay with how we got to the left shift? Okay. Let's try another one. Let's let's make um, CO. Uh, no, let's decrease it. Okay, let's decrease CO. So what does the shot want to do? He wants to increase CO. To make more CO2, CO, do we go to the same side or the opposite side? Same side. Okay. And going to the same side means we have to combine the H2 H2 and the CO2, right? Okay, to go to the same side, we're shifting which way? To the right, because that's the side that it's on. Yeah. Is this getting a little clearer? Yes, question? Adding something to the system absorbs CO2. That means you're removing CO2. Yeah. That's how you interpret that one. Yes. CO is on the right side. Yes. On the same side is right. Because CO is on the right. You're talking about this problem, right? Yeah. Okay, are we good? All right, so when we go to the same side, we have to combine the stuff from the other side, right? 
So we are combining H2 plus CO2. Okay. If we go to the opposite side of water, what did we do? We combined water and CO. If you nail the opposite and same, then you get the idea of what the actual equation means and how it's being used. Yeah? Does this help? Yes. Let's give it a try on some real problems from tonight's homework. Okay. Yes? Yeah, okay. We're going to do this one problem and then we'll, we'll move on. Okay? So... If the temp is going down, what does the shot want to do? He wants it more. Okay, which side is the temperature on? This is endothermic. Endothermic. Left side. Okay, so if we're going to make more heat and the heat is on the left, that's the side that we're going to shift to. And we're going to shift to that because we'll combine the reactant, the products on the other side, which in this equation are uh, zirconium and iod. Oh no, I'm on the wrong one. Ammonium carbonate is the pro is the reactant along with heat. So ammonia, CO2, and water are going to come together to form that ammonium carbonate and heat, and that will raise the temperature. Okay. So, there we go. See, CO2, hydrogen, our CO2 and water. Yeah, CO2 and water and ammonia. I didn't get the ammonia in there. But at any rate, that will be a left shift. Okay? We're talking about 37. All right? Hopefully, we're getting less mysterious. And I hope this, this little uh, transaction helped us some. Oh,